Hey there, this is René Molenaar for GNS 3 Volt, and I want to show you how to do the IPSLA lab. Um, okay, so what is IPSLA? Uh, I think it's a great tool uh, that you should use um, for two reasons. First of all, you can use IPSLA for uh, traffic generation, so you can use it to simulate uh, VoIP traffic, uh, ICMP, DNS requests, uh, HTTP, stuff like that. Uh, which is very useful for us when we're doing labs. Um, so as a traffic generator, it's a, it's a great tool. And the other reason you should use this is because um, you can use it for object tracking. And I'm not sure if you tried object uh, tracking before, but uh, you can use it for, uh, for example, protocols like uh, VRRP or HSRP, uh, GLBP. Uh, you can even use it for uh, static routes. And the cool thing about IPSLA is, um, for example, uh, you can use object tracking, but normally you would use uh, an interface. So let's say you're creating a static route, and as soon as the uh, interface is going down, that's what you can use object tracking for, you want to remove the static route from your routing table. Now that's pretty cool, but if you use IPSLA, you can make it uh, a bit more advanced. So you could create a static route, and as soon as a ping to a certain IP address is failing, then you want to remove the static route from your routing table. So that's something that uh, IPSLA can, uh, can do. And in this example, I'm just going to show you how it works and how to configure it, and how you can use it for uh, traffic generation. Alright, um, okay, enough talking, let's uh, take a look what we have to do. So, router letters, uh, I should configure it to send ICMP echo packets to this IP address every 9 seconds, and it should never stop. So, let's take a look at router letters. Um, okay, so what do we have to do here? IPSLA monitor. And you can pick a number, so I'm going to pick number 1, type, and here you can choose whatever you want to do, but I'm going to do uh, echo, protocol, ICMP, and this is the destination IP address, timeout, 0, so there is no timeout, frequency, every nine seconds and that's it um, there's one more thing we need to do and that's of course to enable it IPSLA monitor and then we're going to use schedule number one start time now and I want it to run forever, so I'm going to use live forever. There we go. So we should be able to look at this. Uh, statistics. Here we go. So you can see that it's working. It's sending packets, number of failures, two, success, zero. Now it's already three, four. So at least it's sending um, ICMP packets. Um, so th this is all that you have to do, but uh, you could create, you could use the responder. So on the other router that's receiving this traffic, you could say IPSLA monitor responder and it will make sure that it will respond to those packets um, but at the moment I don't care about that it's just to generate ICMP traffic all right so that's the first one uh, what else do we have router cucumber send DNS requests to this IP address every eight seconds so where is it it's here so what am I going to do Conf the IPSLA monitor to type DNS 
and we're going to use target address um, you can put a host name here Pff, let's do gns3vault.com name server 1111 timeout 0 frequency every 8 seconds uh, ah, too bad it should be a minimum of 9 so let's make it 9 then and make sure you don't forget to start it schedule entry to start now live forever and that's it there we go so you can see that it's running even though you see the failure here that's because I haven't uh, configured the responder on the other side but that's okay at least it's sending uh, traffic now so that's the DNS request what else do we have the this one is interesting so we can use our router to send G711 uh, uh, VoIP packets to this IP address this port number codec size 160 bytes and an interval of 20 milliseconds and I should do this on what router? Pickle, okay so router pickle where are you? IP SLA monitor this one and then we do type jitter destination uh, I totally forgot the destination uh, 2222 okay destination port this one codec G711 and it doesn't matter if you use ALA or ULA so pick whatever you like codec size 160 bytes and the codec interval should be 20 there we go a timeout of 0 frequency going to set it to 1 second and the last step is to enable it start time now live forever there we go so this is how you can do G711 traffic and we should configure router cucumber to respond to those packets so router cucumber cucumber responder there we go So if we use the show command, show IP SLA monitor statistics, we can see that it is sending traffic. I hope so, but it says start time OK, latest operation return code, no connection. Let me check the IP address, uh, 2222. This is the destination port. Okay, so it seems to be working. Okay, so it seems that I have to be more uh, patient. So it says return code, okay, now that's great. Round trip time values, latency one way time. Shows are the latency that we have. It even calculates the MOS score for VoIP. So this seems to be uh, working. So that's very nice. And what else do we have? Configure router tomato to send G729 packets to an IP address with this port and a codec size of 20 bytes. And what router did I? Okay, router tomato.
type jitter destination this IP address destination port codec G729 and codec size 20 bytes codec interval 20 milliseconds and that should be it okay timeout zero frequency every second and make sure that we start it schedule for start time now live forever there we go and make sure that router pickle responds to it okay so i'm just going to type it in ip sla monitor respond there we go so i'm not going to show you the show command because it's um, basically the same thing as this one so that's g729 traffic and one more thing configure router letters to send http get packets to this ip address every 60 seconds and what router was it? Lattice, right? Lattice, okay. Type HTTP operation get and I think we can do it like this or maybe not Let's give it a shot, see what it does. That's not helping me. So maybe just the IP address. Oh right, I got a type URL. Great. Um, okay, so normally you would uh, type in a URL here, but that's okay. That's not okay, it says bad URL. Um, okay, so I'm just going to type in gns3volt.com. There we go, and that's good. Frequency 60. And okay, so what my router will probably do is trying to resolve this address, gns3volt.com. So if you really want this to work, you should set up a DNS server or create a static host entry on this router. I'm not going to do that, but I'll, um, I'm going to enable it anyway. So schedule 5, start time now, live forever. There we go. And now it's running. And that's already the last task that we had. Okay, so that's it. So this is how you can configure IP SLA. And I hope, I hope that this example was useful to you because I showed you pretty much all the different protocols you can use um, uh, that you can combine with IP SLA. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll talk to you next time.